Hey everyone, I am Chris Barron, and I am the middle grade author of this novel in verse called All of Me. And uh, I'm very excited to be here and talk a little bit about this book and about poetry and some things to maybe lift our spirits and help us kind of work through these times. Um, so I'm Chris, and I am these three things right now, most of all. Um, also, I'm a husband, I didn't put that in there but I'm a dad, a professor, and an author, and I love poetry. And this book is my novel in verse um, about Ari Rosenzweig, who is a 13-year-old who has been teased and bullied his whole life about his weight, and he gets tired of it. And so the summer before his bar mitzvah, he tries to make a change. And so he gets together with a bunch of his friends, and they spend the summer at the beach, and they have a lot of fun adventures and go through a lot of things that um, change Ari forever. And he thinks it's about losing weight, but it's about a lot more than that. So I thought I would read you just the first poem in the book, which is my own um, version of what I call an I am poem. So I will read that to you and then I'm gonna give you a little bit of an exercise so you can write your own I am poem. before summer. Who am I? The life in my head seems so different from the life outside, where I'm so big that everyone stares, but no one sees the real me. My name is Ari Rosenzweig, and this year I am the newest seventh grader at Mill Valley Middle School. I have sandy brown hair and green eyes like my father's. I'm average height, but I'm a fat kid, and I hate it when people call me names. Even though I'm overweight, I can still do everything everyone else can, ride my bike, play video games, but people just see me as different, only notice who I am on the outside. My mother's an artist who sculpts giants in clay and paints the world on canvas and on murals and even on clothes. My father sells what she paints. I'm an only child. Sometimes I get lonely, wish for a brother or sister, but I get so much time to myself to do what I like to do, and no one interferes. I make role-playing games. I'm gonna be a cryptozoologist. I wanna find the creatures out there like Bigfoot that might seem so different, but that belong to this world too. My mother says we're gonna spend our summer at the beach. Out in nature, she says. I like the beach, but I don't like taking off my shirt. And I always have to hike up my pants. And I worry that there isn't enough food because I'm always hungry. More than anything, I think, I want to lose weight, and I don't know how. So that's my I Am poem, the first poem um, from all of me that starts the whole story off. And I want to share a little bit about how you can write your own I Am poem, and maybe like why you would do that. Um, okay, so I want you to write an I Am poem, or at least have fun with it. It's a poem that can tell all about who you are, what you care about on the inside and on the outside. Why would you write one? Um, an I am poem helps to express our feelings, explore our identity. It gives us a chance to think about our ideas. Sometimes we have a lot going on in our inside and we don't always know how to express it. You can reveal secrets. You can be super silly, like some of my favorite poems can be very silly, just like um, Shel Silverstein, if you've read any of his poems, but they're also very, very serious at the same time. And it can be a big help when you're creating characters for a story or a poem. In All of Me, when I was writing it, I love the idea of poetry because so much of what Ari goes through is happening on the inside. Have you ever had, you know, feelings about something that happened in your day, but then when you got home and you're your parents or your friends, someone asked you, how are you doing? What was your answer? You probably said, fine. But maybe it was more than that. Maybe inside is a whole world of ideas and experiences that you want to express. And poetry gives you the chance to do that. And one of the ways is to write an I am poem. So this is a very long worksheet that you can come back and pause later. And it gives you a way to kind of walk through and write maybe a version of an I am poem. You can use this worksheet or you can do it on your own, or you can use parts of it, however you want to do it. But it starts off kind of very basic, and I'll just talk a little bit about it. My name is, 
And then like in my poem, he says, my name is Ari Rosenzweig. In this, it could be, you know, your name, it could be a made up name. Um, it says it means, what's the actual meaning of your name? Maybe you know that. Um, or you could even make something up. And then I am and list two characteristics that make you unique. Um, and then I want to take this next one and, and maybe pull it out a little bit to give you an idea of what I'm getting at, where it says, I live. So when you take a line like this, I live, you tend to think, well, I live in a house. I live in an apartment. I live, I don't know, somewhere else. But make it more interesting. Um, use figurative language. Think about things like metaphors and similes where you're making comparisons, where you're showing big ideas about things you love or things you're afraid of or, or whatever it is to um, help the reader or whoever's gonna look at your poem or even yourself explore new ideas. So you could say something like, I live on a in a tiny apartment. Now that's interesting, but you could say, I live in a cardboard box beneath a giant mountain range. And there it is very, very cold. So when you do stuff like this, you take something ordinary, like a tiny apartment, and you turn it around and you make it like, like this cardboard box. And maybe you live um, in a very big place and maybe it's like the mountains. So maybe they're not actual mountains, but maybe right now it feels like, you know, um, you're living inside a box against big mountains and it's very cold. And so you can do this for every line and be imaginative um, and just really have fun exploring these different things for each of those little sections in, in, the, uh, in the handout. And if you do this, um, I want you to try it. So give it a shot, write your I am poem, and I would love to see what you write. And you can email me right here and send me the poem. And I would love to check it out and just see what you've done. Thank you. I hope that you enjoy this and that you're reading and writing and staying home and staying safe.